Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 10 of my adventure in Aurora 4X. And, and it is proving to be an adventure. Last time out, I tried to get our fuel harvesting station, the Presto here, uh, tugged out to its destination. But our tug seemed to run out of fuel, despite having set it up to have, was it 13... 13.6 billion kilometers range. And that was with, if I remember correctly, actually I wonder, oh, every time. Uh, we did add in a cargo hold, which took us up to 28,000 tons. Ah. Hmm. I thought I'd checked that last time out, and it was still going to be okay. Obviously not. Right, well, in that case, we need to up the fuel storage here. And I don't know, what sort of distance are we going to go for? I wish I had large fuel storage now. It's going to be researched soon enough. Four billion. Now, I suppose if we go for a million litres capacity, it's up to five billion kilometres almost. And this is to go to uh, Uranus. So if we're looking... Let's see, from about there... Yeah, so three billion kilometres. So that would do it, I suppose. Um, yeah, right, okay. We can get rid of the cargo hold. Six thousand six hundred seventy one kilometers per second when it isn't towing anything. 42 billion kilometres of range. Right, okay, well, we'll lock that design then. I think I've got another tug under construction. Go to our shipyard tasks, yeah. Uh, so hopefully that will come out with the increased fuel storage. But could I get this... Uh, where are we? Tug fleet. Let's detach the virtual again. You go to the fuel transport fleet and tug fleet. You need to refuel, so do that. Refuel from colony. And then if we look at the Presto, it's got no orders, it's not moving. So tug fleet. Uh, refuel from colony and then head out to the Prestol. Track to the ship. And we bring it back to Earth. Right. Let's pay close attention to this. We'll just step through a day at a time. Oh, we've got mass drivers completed at Earth before I go anywhere. Let's. Check this, 25% capacity available. Stockpiles aren't too bad. Research, construction, and automated mines. What is our infrastructure looking like? Uh, 1560 and 1000 low gravity. I think I'm going to up this to 50. And just spread the rest out, so 30% there and 20 here. 
And then a day at a time, let's watch the tug fleet. Almost gets there in one day. It's still 100% fuel. Give it another day. Grabs the uh, Prestol. 98% fuel. And what's your range now? Current range is 4.6 billion kilometers. We've got no auto refuel. Now, does that 4.6 billion kilometers include this? I pressed all. You've got half a million litres of fuel. You've got what? That... That change to the template has automatically upgraded that ship. Okay, I'll take it. Right, in that case then, we could try... No, we need to go back to Earth uh, because Prestol has to unload that fuel. Right, orbiting Earth. Okay. Um, I think we need to detach the Prestol. Have you transfer fuel to colony? Tug fleet. Let's have you refuel from the colony. And you're now 100% and pressed all 90%. They're still transferring fuel. Let's give it another day then. And there, 10%. Which is the minimum that it can reduce to because it's set that way as a tanker. Tug fleet then can grab the pressed all once again. Tractor the specified ship. And. You're heading out here. Do I have the Uranus set as a colony? I don't think I do. So, yeah, fly out there, release a tractor ship, and then we'll leave it at that. I don't want to have anything going wrong. Uh, yeah, so we'll leave that alone for now. But if we come into the system window, all right, let's uh, create a colony there. And then we'll step through one day, tug fleets on its way off to release the tractor ship, distance of 2.7 billion kilometers, uh, tug fleet, Earl of Butte, range is 4.62. So you should have enough fuel to get back because you'll be unladen on the way back. So I'm just going to step through, let's go in five day increments then. And hopefully it gets there. 1.1 billion kilometers range left. The second tug has now been completed. What's in our, what's this? Oh no, it's a survey fleet, the shipyard fleet. That's our second tug. Let's just set you under the logistics command for now. And... Do I want to be doing any modifications? As long as we don't use corundium, we should be okay. So let's go to the shipyards. We've got two slipways available here. I think I want to increase the capacity there now. I uh, continue capacity upgrade to... Let's just make it 15,000 tonnes for now. We're okay there. And in here... If I had a slipway... We'll settle for that. 
Right, and then keep going with our tug fleet. 788 million kilometers. It may just get there. But we've got an active research lab, one available. Let's add it in to. What am I just now? May 45. So it's a year before we get an iron drive engine. Going to add the research lab in there. And five days again. Right. So Tug Fleet has completed its orders. Now, if we look at the. So it's got 41% fuel still available. Presto has 10. Presto should begin to uh, harvest sorium here. Oh, it's one volition. And you should be able to get back to Earth. What's your range now? 17 billion. Yeah, you're absolutely fine. Okay. Uh, something else I meant to look at. Standing orders uh, for Tug Fleet. I put them down to no conditions. Just to make sure that it didn't turn back. It didn't mean, because if it was getting down to under 10% fuel. So it would have turned around to try and go back to Earth. So, no orders there. Let's have you... In fact, let's go with the... Um, if deployment exceeded, we'll do it this way around. You fuel less than 10%, given it's got such a massive range when it's unladen. 20%. Uh, refuel a colony. And... Get you back to Earth where you will refuel. Right, in five days. Look at that, it's back. Uh, in just a few days. Now we've got this tug, we'll add in to the fleet as well. The Arthur James Balfour. If deployment exceeded. Uh, let's have you So we can refuel from the colony. I want you to go into overhaul. I guess I can't order that. Okay, we just leave you there for now. We're not going to use you. Let's have a look at our colonies. So Luna, 4.57, it's probably still got no construction factories. There's no build capacity. Um, do you have a governor? You do, you've got Jason Wade. That's for the system. We'll leave it military restricted just now. Same with Mars. Maybe if I build a bigger freighter, then the civilian lines would do the same. Um, I suppose what I could do, now that we've got it working, is... Go to our uh, space stations and create another Prestel. Doesn't have to be done that quickly. Take 30% of capacity. Research can go back down by 10, no, by 10. Construction factory 
tent and automated mines. And now we move this up the queue. We'll get that completed before too long, just a couple of months, and then we'll get you taken out to join the first one. And having said that, next time we stop, we go out and have a look at the Prestall. Mining operations fleet. Ah, okay. Um, Prestall, you've got 14% fuel, so you're working away there. Mining operations fleet. You came from Terpsichore and you unloaded the minerals. Excellent. So, if I check here, recent stockpiles, you unloaded some geranium and boronide, it must have been. Pretty sure that's what Terpsichore has, geranium and boronide. Right, so mining operations fleet, you've got standing orders, it's okay. Um, was there not, yeah, move to asteroid mineral source. But what do you do there? No, I am... Um, no, I said that's in order. That's not what I was looking for. So, get back to Terpsichore. Uh, load all minerals until full. Then return to Earth and unload all minerals. And then we'll set this, that to repeat, say, what, 25 times. You can just keep going backwards and forwards and refuel and replenish as you need to. Uh, you're orbiting Earth again. Moving to Earth to refuel. Ah, okay. Uh, so. Yeah, the Coniston, that's right. You have you have refueled. I guess I need to give you your orders again. Um, load all minerals until full at Terpsichore. Come back to Earth and unload all minerals. And we'll repeat it again. Uh, uh, 24 will do. But obviously that will break when it goes back to refuel next time. Right. So things seem to be working for now. We've got our Prestal 002. And we can go back in here and I think we'll just bump all these things back up to where they were. Construction factories to 30. Automated mines to uh, 20. Okay, show me our tasks. You're still working away. Ah, so these don't show up as tasks. It's only the uh, ship construction, I guess, that shows up there, right? Fine. We have a new scientist in construction and production. Pressed all. You're now at 20%. And we should have, say, a space station. Presto 002. Let's set up a new fleet, and this is going to be uh, Uranus Sorium Harvesters. Okay. But. Yeah, I can't. Um, can't transfer you in here, can I? No. So, delete that. This here, we just rename then. Uh, 
and I want to get our new space station in there. So Tug Fleet, let's get the Earl of Butte. Actually, you still don't have any maintenance supply points. Why? When you have, I should have. Maintenance life is 1.96 years. MSP is 307. Maintenance supply points here is 203. Don't know why there's a difference. Ah, James Arm, you, you get nothing. Right enough. Anyway, detach you and standing orders leave you as you are. So you need to find a space station. Tractor the Prestol 002. Take it to Uranus and release the tractor to ships. Then return to Earth and refuel. Let's see if that works. Why are you going so slow? Research complete. Maybe that was what was holding it up. Uh, research into cargo hold large. Anything else in logistics I want to look at? We could maybe go with the refueling system. Although what we could just do is uh, no, let's add yeah, 20 labs here, brings it down to March and that just happens to be the same we'll just spread them out that way I think back underway And is back home. Orders complete. Excellent. Right, and if we come out here, uh, Presto, you can now join there. Obviously, it's still going to be a while before we have any need to send out tankers to bring the fuel back, but we will do that eventually. And Earl of Butte, you can rejoin the Tug fleet. Let's leave that for now. No, no, let's not, not, let's not leave it. The tug fleet needs to have standing orders. Uh, deployment exceeded, it's got them. Okay, let's add in supply points less than 20% and see if that sorts this problem. No suitable destination. You're orbiting Earth. Hmm. Let's just overhaul the colony then. Let's see if that makes any difference. Right, so why was the shore leave complete? So deployment times come right down. Is there no supply? Ah, did I use it all up? Maintenance stockpile, there we go. I'd forgotten that that was stopped. That's why there's no maintenance supply points. Simple things. Right, keep going. We will get some supply points eventually. Earl of Butte, is there no fuel either? Surely there's fuel. There was plenty. Um, industry. There's no fuel. Because we have no sodium. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, we've got sodium. Yeah, we just need to get it out of the ground. I thought we were totally stranded there. 
keep going. But I suppose the civilian ships will be using up our fuel supplies as well. Although they're not heading out anywhere at the moment. Because the colonies are locked. Uh, let's get rid of those standing orders. Just let time tick by so that we get some sodium actually in the tanks. Tractor beam on Arthur James Balfour. Alright. Because we've got no maintenance supplies. We still have no fuel. We'll forward 30 day increments instead. Uh, another research facility available. We will add that again into here. We've got 48 maintenance supply points. We'll give it another 30 days uh, or 60. Uh, let's stop. It looked like there was a lot uh, of notifications here, but I think it's just retirements, commander's experience. So don't need to worry about that. Um, okay. We've still got no fuel, but 124 maintenance points. At least we know we can send a Tanker. Yeah, we could set a tanker out to Uranus, but how much sodium are we actually going to bring back? We've got 50% of our capacity available here, and I think we're going to chuck that straight into fuel refineries. Boronide, we've got plenty of. Uh, let's just go with 50 for now at 50%. Yep, okay, and our research. Power and production. Or power and propulsion. Stellar fusion reactor, we'll leave that again for now. Let's go with the fuel consumption, since it's becoming a bit of an issue for us. 15% and 28 labs. We'll give Zoe the task, try and get her research bonus up. I don't think I want to give her all 25 labs, so let's take 10 away, yep. And construction and production, fuel production. Dylan, you've got 40%. Let's give it to Jessica, try and get this bonus up a bit though. Uh, 10 labs, creating that project. If we check our... Oh, you're still bust because of the lack of maintenance supply points. 30 orders. Let's go back to this overhaul at Colony. Refuel resupply and overhaul, actually. And our... Sodium harvesters. 50%, 36%, yeah. So we can get a tanker out there. Uh, grab that sodium and bring it back. You still can't carry out your orders. Maybe you've got some supply points. No. All right. Ships, tug fleet. No. So why... If we've got a stockpile of supply points, maybe you can't do it in fractions. Maybe you've got to bring in the whole amount at once. Seems a bit odd. Give it another 30 days and another. Something's drinking in the supply points here because if it's up at 420 every year after three months that should have gone up by more than three obviously um okay i think i'm going to i'm going to scale this back a bit let's 
take it right back to say 15 and it's going to be at 25% and we're going to get more uh, maintenance facilities as well so let's get 20 of those at 25% Get back underway. Commander promoted a retirement. No, yeah, retirement. Oscar Warren retired from the third battalion, uh, or the uh, third colonial defence battalion. I'm thinking I might go and design our tanker soon, like now. How much does the Prestel hold? 500,000 uh, Yeah, 500,000 litres What sort of engines do we have available? We've now got the ion drive So we're going to research a new engine And I th think we're going to... No, we're going to go with the commercial drive again. So I believe that's the Curtis main. Engine power. Down to 50%. Fuel consumption is 0.8, it's the lowest we can go. Hull size of 25 156 is not much. We go up to 30. Right. So I think we'll go with that. We'll probably put in a couple of engines. And we need a name. Let's see, the Curtis means they're the dogs, aren't they? What have we got? We've got Poodle, we've got Terrier, we've got Bulldog. Um, total mine's gone a blank. Uh, <laughs> can't call it a Chihuahua. Um, It's almost as bad as a Chihuahua. Pomeranian. Right, it's a commercial engine. It's an ion drive. It's an engine power of 187. A fuel use of 15. And a hull size of 30. Okay, prototype that. And now our ship design. We want another new tanker. Uh, it's not. It would potentially be an auxiliary ship, but no, this is going to be a civilian tanker. So new ship class. Select the name, and we're just going to continue with names from Royal Navy Tankers It's going to be the Denby Dale class Miscellaneous uh, Fuel Transport Fleet Select a random name from the theme and again Royal Navy Tankers and I need to come back here and set it as a tanker conscript crew and fuel storage ah oh, it was cargo hold large that I researched wasn't it 
Yep. Fuel storage large. Hmm. Okay. Zoe, let's cancel that project. Fuel storage large. Ewan, how long did that take? July, so just a month. We'll let time tick by then. Let's get this done. Is it 26? Shipyard modified, let's... Uh, 31st, let's go in 10 days then. Oh no, it's July. Nearly there. And why are we not stopping? Why is it moving on? 4th of August now. Okay, another day. Oh my god, come on! Why does it increments and drop so much? What is happening? Right, research complete. Back to power and propulsion. Zoe, get back on this. And now, if we open this again, and we go with the Denbydale class, add in large fuel storage. We don't need 800. How much we're going to take? 600,000 maybe? Or 750. I mean, it doesn't make a huge amount. Well, when it's loaded up, it probably does make a difference. 500,000. And then if we add in. Not small. Add in uh, just the standard. That's taking us back to where we were. 600,000 will do. Yeah. Okay, deployment time of three months should be fine. We need engines, and we need prototype engines for the Pomeranian. Whoa. I mean, the thing is, I imagine, given what the game's like in other senses, when this fills up to full, is it at full capacity actually? Um, when it fills up to full capacity, would it be, have the same range? because it's so much heavier, obviously when it's full of fuel. Anyway, let's uh, go back here. Minimum fuel, let's make it 10,000 for now. This is supposed to be assigned to the fuel transport fleet. Maintenance storage. Small should be more than enough. Set as a tanker. Conscript hull numbers. I'm going to give it that, that'll be zippy, which is unusual for a tanker, but I don't want to risk you know, it, it, the fact that it would be unable to move when it was full of fuel. Two thousand tons for a tanker. I suppose it's only carrying six hundred thousand liters. The other thing we could do, I suppose, is go out and if we emptied all of the fuel harvesting stations at the same time. So, if we did add uh, another large fuel storage. Let's 
still sub 3,000 tonnes. Alright, we'll go with that then. Lock the class. Still has a tanker. Fuel transport fleet. We're all good. So we'll get that queued up and we'll get the shipyard retooling. Uh, but then we'll get a tanker sent out to Uranus to bring back some sodium. But I'm going to put in a break and we'll pick this up again next time out. So for now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.